everybody welcome back to my channel this is Lisa from Potsy Feather and I'm back today with another DIY mixed media project so I recently went through my stash and I found those three I think they're chipboard not quite sure but I think they're chipboard hearts and I decided to upcycle them um, so I trimmed off the the little ribbon thingy that they are um, you know that they have there and I trimmed them off on the very top so I can use the ribbon on later on. And now I'm coating them with two coats of white gesso. I don't care if it's a bit messy because this is a mixed media project. So I actually want it to be messy. This is my mixed media journal and I just, uh, instead of wasting all of that gesso, I just um, put that in there. So yeah. And I'm going to clean up my work surface for a second. For me, it's always very important to have a somewhat clean work surface because uh, otherwise it's very like the projects don't turn out as I want them to. And the gesso has to clean, uh, to dry anyways. So what I'm doing next is I'm going through my, this is my tissue paper folder kind of, and I uh, pull out... Um, those different kinds of tissue paper and look at how perfect those tissue papers match my flowers that I um, decided to use so for um, this um, like powder sugar um, tissue paper I decided to use this gorgeous lady and I just used my memento tuxedo black ink which is not waterproof I think I'm not sure but anyways um, I used this and actually it is, isn't it? I don't know. And I used this stamp, I don't know where it's from, this gorgeous lady. And for this pink one, I decided to use, I love this stamp. This is by James Lookberg Creative and it's called Charmed, I'm sure. I love her. I actually got this stamp set because of her, because I love her. I love her. She's gorgeous. So I stamped this uh, a thousand times because... Um, uh, I don't I only need one of each for this project but I thought since I'm you know while I'm at it I just should do a few more so I have them for art journaling and mixed media projects because I really love to use tissue paper it's like a collage sheet if you know like um, Jean Davenport has some um, and it's the same thing basically it's just on a different color and diy <laughs> so I'm using my scissors to fussy cut them and I do leave a tiny um, border around them and this is not perfect I don't mean it to be perfect and it, the perfect thing with this one is you can use it either way which I love I I love that so um my thing is still were not dry so um, these are just paper roses and the other ones are um, fabric and here I could, was able to actually um, just pull out the, um, what's it called, wire. And with these I had to fill around a bit, so I'm sorry you, I do this off camera, but I just trimmed off um, the wiry bits and I do, um, these are uh, glue dots, which I'm gonna uh, use those later on. And um, so yeah, I used my wire cutters thingies. Um, I also pulled out because it's uh, these are paper flowers, and I decided to make a few of those as well, just a few, you know, and I just use glue for those so I can, you know, um, shuffle them around a bit. And I really like how these turn out as well. And now I'm using this is Crimson by De La Rowney. And the other one is like a baby blue. That's a cheapy one. And this is a, a pink one. That's also a cheaper one. And I use my brush and I go in with all three colors. And I kind of blend them. And I go over it again and go back in. And I love how this looks. So this is the first one. It's um, all done. And I kind of do not three color schemes, but with this one, the the pink 
is very dominant here it's a bit more blue although it gets really pink on the other side too but yeah and um, because the pink is very well pink so and here I just go very dark with the my magenta or it's actually crimson sorry but I do go back in with some blue to lighten it up a bit but I love how different all of their um all of the hearts are I love I just love this so I can use my uh, mixed media journal and just um plonk in the paint in there so you have to watch me do this for a second I'm sorry but uh yeah I um I'm a big fan of leaving everything I do in because I that those are the videos that I prefer to watch and yeah so here I actually was able to um color the whole page which was fun and now I'm gonna use my uh Memento Tuxedo Black ink again and this is a text stamp and I tried to pull it off of its backing sheet it did not happen so I put it back down and I just used the whole thing so I think they weren't dry as of now so I had to use my heat gun I think that's what I'm trying to do here or trying to figure out where it is yeah there it is I just um dried them so sorry for my head there so yeah I dried them so they were dry obviously and um so I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm as you can see I'm not doing this in any way shape or form um perfectly and I just use the rest of the ink to stamp in my journal I'm cleaning up the stamp as well and yeah so with those simple steps you actually have made quite the impact because it looks it looks great. I love how this looks. Showing you up close. Obviously, this is sped up a lot. So this is the stress collage medium. And um, so I'm going to use two of the girls. And for the third one, I have this. I found this wood veneer bird that I wanted to use. So I just used the collage medium. And the, this is the distress collage medium uh, brush that I also got which is quite handy actually this is the medium or the smallest I don't even know and yeah I just put that on there and now they're stuck there forever I love how they look I also used um, the distress collage medium for the bird and for all of the flowers I decided to use glue dots because um, it was uh, very easy to use actually so <laughs> that's what I did and here I used one rose and two of the I have no idea what these are I found those in my stash I really like those but I, I don't use those in my project uh, in my um, usual like in my um, scrapbooking and stuff because they're just too chunky so um and then i realized i forgot about those paper flowers so i adhered one here or maybe another one no and those two go on this um heart but i do trim off some of the like some of the um access that is hanging over and the last one of those pink flowers goes on here as well so. and then I decided to use those hearts as the centers of those flowers because they were looking a bit um, plain so here I just used my pokey tool to you know um, make sure the um, the insides of the hole for the ribbon were clear of gesso and all of the things and paint and stuff so I am getting almost done so all I had to do so there's where I did that again so you know I don't have gesso and paint and stuff on my ribbon so I pulled through the ribbon and made another knot so it looks all pretty and then I cut off the excess 
and then I am basically done. I really love how this looks. It was so much fun to do this and honestly this didn't take all that long. I think it sped this up four and a half times. So it took me about 45-15 minutes, something like that. I really, really love how they turned out. And yeah, here you can see them up close. You can see all of the beautiful texture. I love it. Oh, she's gorgeous. So yeah, that was my layout for you today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this one. I most certainly did. And if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.